Hey GearFax friends, today we've got the Casio LK136. This is just the same as the LK135, except it has lighting keys. And you might see up here that we've got a list of a hundred songs. They're all classics, old standards, and the lighting keys will display the tune as it's being played. The idea, of course, is that it's meant to help you learn how to play piano a little bit better. But, well, as you just saw then, it hasn't done much for me. But what I was going to say is that the tune plays, it's all fast and it's all happening. You think, yeah, I can follow that. But when it comes to the crunch, it really becomes quite hard to follow whatever just played. Anyway, I'll give you a bit of a demonstration. We go to Song Bank. Then we have a look through the list and choose a song that we might want to hear. It's a little bit hard for me to choose one that I actually want to hear. But anyway, I'm going to go for 73, Gymnopody, I think is how it's pronounced. Turn the volume up a little bit. Okay, let's stop there. Yeah, so you get the idea. Just looking at the tune is not the same as getting in and playing it. However, to be fair, there are a couple of different modes where the light will stay on and actually wait for you to press the key so you get it in the right place and then you form your chord and your tune and it moves on to the next set of lights. So you can go through step by step. And of course, you can raise and lower the tempo as well. But is it a good way to learn piano? Well, it's highly debatable. Obviously, a purist is going to say absolutely not. But of course, some people out there just want to learn one of their favorite tunes and they can just learn it that way without having to refer to any lessons or sheet music or anything like that. So I think there is a place for the technology and I think anyone playing these key lighting keyboards could get a little bit out of it. And even if you don't, there's no doubt that it looks pretty cool. So that's the key lighting feature, which is really the draw card about the LK136. Now let's take a closer look at some of the tones, rhythms, and perhaps most excitingly, the dance music function of this keyboard. Okay, so let's hit tone and have a listen to some of these sounds. The grand piano default sound is the same sound that Casio have been using for about 20 years. and It's fine, it does the job, but it certainly doesn't provide the complete picture of what a grand piano actually sounds like. What else have we got? A pretty good clavier sound. Vibes. Organ sounds are always a good gauge of the quality of a keyboard. That's actually pretty good. Rock organ. Now that's a pretty different interpretation of what a rock organ is compared to all the other keyboards I've reviewed, but still sounds okay. Let's try some of the bass sounds. Couple of reasonably nice synth bass sounds there. Strings. Now that is not a nice string sound. Some more synth tones. Okay, so this section is showing us that Casio have introduced a few new sounds that we haven't seen before in Casios at this end of the market. And then we get back to some of the gentler classic sounds. That we have seen before on Casio keyboards, but they are old favourites. quite metallic and harsh. We're just going to make our way to the percussion sounds now. Oh, first of all, actually, sound effects. Well, 
that's just as bizarre but slightly less usable than other sound effect sets that I've seen in low end keyboards. Now the drums. That's our standard kit. A more electronic sounding dance kit there. Brushes. And now some Indian percussion. I always enjoy this because there's some great fun sounds. You get the usual drum kit down here. And then up here. The selection wasn't quite as fun as I'd hoped there, but it's still pretty good. And one last press and we're back to grand piano. So those are all the basic features out of the way. Let's move on to the dance music section because that is the most fun, the most exciting, and the most interesting to use. Okay, we have to get all the keyboard in shot here because we're going to be going out to all the extremities. Alright, so we're in dance music mode. We have three categories of dance music. EDM, electronic dance music, house music, and hip hop. And that gives us a total of 50 rhythm selections to choose from. And when I say rhythm selections, what I mean is it's not just a beat with bass and some synthesizer on top of it. No, each of your choices in the dance music category is divided into a whole range of things that you can mix together. A bit like using a sampler, although it is simplified and in some ways it's a bit more fun actually. Let's choose Power D2. When we press start, we'll hear the rhythm in its basic format. So we had four keys lighting up there. We've got our drum keys, one, two, three, bass keys, one, two, three, synthesizer parts. We have six different keys, so six different melodies. The clever thing about this is that it all stays in key. So whatever combination you have, doesn't matter which bass line and which synth line, it's all gonna sound pretty right. So let's do a bit of that mixing. And I can mix parts right out if I want to. Maybe go to the next drum beat. So you get two basic rhythms plus a fill to switch between them nice and neatly. Three different bass lines and the six different synth sections. But there is more, the effects section. We've got four different effects and these sound really good. So let's start that up again. What I wanna do is just have the bass and the beat going here. I'll give you a bit more volume. We've got two kinds of filter effects, then a flanger here, and my favorite is the ring modulator, which distorts all the instruments that are playing, and you can only operate one effect at a time. So if I've got one down and I press another one, then this one here will stop and this one will take over. But I think this is a really great feature because as you go through and you connect different parts of the song and you use the effects in relation to those changes, you really start to get a good understanding of how songs are created and what can make a great crescendo and what can make a good wind down to the end of the song. All the ebb and flow of music is in there and it's really interesting to learn more about that. And the learning will happen organically as you just fool around with this part of the keyboard here. It's really enjoyable and I think it is more than a toy. It does teach you something a little bit theoretical about song construction. Let's try a different rhythm. I like number 33, Acid Tech 2. It's got a nice groove to it. And there you go. You can see how I constructed that intro there kind of badly. The fill sort of came in on the wrong bar, the whole thing seemed a bit disjointed. So straight away, I'm learning more about how to ease into a song. So let's try that again. All 
Okay, so starting to build things a little bit more naturally. This is so enjoyable, so I'm just going to try one more of these dance rhythms. This one's got some interesting sounds in it. Okay, some bits went nicely, some bits didn't go so nicely. But seriously guys, there's a whole afternoon's entertainment in this section of the keyboard alone, the dance music section. In fact, I'd also point out that the term dance music is probably a little bit limiting because really it goes quite a lot broader than that and explores plenty of other areas of electronic music. The LK series has been long criticised quite severely sometimes for being something that doesn't work well in an educational kind of environment because of the lighting keys and the conflict that has with traditional piano playing. But my opinion is different. I really think that as an educational tool, this really has its place. I mean, you can use those lighting keys just as a hint for those songs that you want to learn how to play. But the new dance music section and the ability to control and mix and use it like a sampler is really interesting. I know I said it before, but that is an education on its own. And I think anybody who bought this particular model would be very pleased with it. So thank you for watching my review, guys. Thanks for liking or commenting or subscribing to Gear Facts. Or share this video with your friends or anybody else you think might be interested in buying a keyboard. Because this is a really fun one. If you're looking for something that's just entry level and is going to teach you a few things about music, then it's a great investment. That's the Casio LK136. Thanks again for watching Gear Facts, guys. See you next time.